Okay, so that's Glorious Boy with Gumbody right there. Absolutely love that one. 9.22 on a fantastic Friday morning right here on the Morning Rush on the Heartbeat of Lagos. Love the horns at the end of that one right there. And uh, we have a superstar in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Casey. How you doing, my man? I'm all right. It's been, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, we'll it's been see. A while. It's and you've been, been doing great. Well, thank God. I see you. And, uh, you know, you know when I saw your chain, the first thing it reminded me of was I remember a MTV based Cribs I watched when I was a kid. And uh, it was G-Unit. Uh, so Young Buck was, you know, taking uh, them around the house and everything. So they had a seven series then, you okay. know, thick, thick rims and everything. And it was like, it spins. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah, yeah. When I spun that, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you remembered it. I just remember that. Don't so mind me. That's cute, though. Thank you, Since my that, brother. Since that, or money came in clutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we thank God for that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were, you were in the news for a lot of controversy as regards that song. Uh, aside the fact that you know song was a banger, still a banger, true. And uh, yeah, looking forward to how the uh, re- the remix of One Republic. Oh yeah, is it One Republic? Yeah, One Republic. Yeah, yeah that was sound. Is a very we'll come we'll come back to that too as well. But a lot of people were saying that you know um, uh, the guy that played the Oja yeah. instrument on that one, that you know you shafted him, yeah. uh, you just gave him a Corolla. Meanwhile, you got a big chain out of that <laughs> and everything. So what? Yeah. And I understand the intri- intricacies of contracts and how uh, these things work and everything. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to just shed a little bit of light on that? Yeah, the truth is um, that that was, you know, just caused by, I would say, some of the fans out there. Mm-hmm. They always like to come into conclusion of what they don't know. The young boy that uh, did that job didn't know he was going to even record that. You okay. know? He's he, he just came for an event and after the event we went to the studio I took him to the studio I'm like I want you to do something yeah. so it's just like taking a guitarist to the studio to yeah. play guitar for you mm-hmm. or a talking drummer yeah. you know he wasn't featured on the project yeah. and we always pay them off whenever we contract them for a job and he was charging 30000 for the job and I paid 300000 Okay, at with, the time. Yeah, okay. because the job wasn't even out when I paid that. Nobody yeah. knew the job was going to be big. Okay. And when the job came out, a lot of people started telling him, oh, he has made $1 billion, he has made $10 billion, and he's supposed to do this. And I, I didn't even blame him much because he knew nothing. Now, the young man that brought him to me was the one I paid 300 Now, the guy didn't pay him. Yeah. You know, and the thing kept on going on, and I had to come out and speak about it and talked about it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it wasn't just about him, but I think the people were like, why would this come out from Casey? They were bitter. Some people were pained. And they started, you know, pushing that narrative of me not settling the guy and all that. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, we settled it and um, they apologized. And also, they don't know anything about the industry. They don't know anything about the business. You were not featured on the project. So if that's um, the way the industry works, that means everybody that plays instruments in our music would have been giving them royalties and all that. Yeah, but because I understand the concept of split sheets, you, uh, you understand. So meaning the producers, the songwriters, you know, everybody that has, they also you know, had theirs. Yeah, you know, everybody. They had so oh, so they have a split yeah, sheet. Yeah, okay. they signed it. Okay, they had their own publishing. Everybody Everything on the project, on, on the project. Even my A&R, everybody. Everybody has music okay. business is professional now. Mm-hmm. We don't do it like we used to do it back, back then. in the day. Yeah, yeah. Right now, you don't want anybody dragging you here and there. Mm-hmm. So we actually had a split sheet for. Everybody, Everybody that on, on the, on the yes. song. Okay, so I think, you know, that settles everything. So since you're confirming the fact that, you know, there was a split sheet, and, sure. you know, everybody that worked on that project, you sure. know, has a certain percentage of royalty yeah, that yeah, comes yeah. to them. So, Everybody. Hey, okay, cool, yeah. that's nice. So uh, uh, that's, um, you know, at a point in time, that was the most played song on the radio. You're doing like 600 spins a week. Wow, I yeah, know, though. Yeah, you're doing like I 600 spins crazy. a week. So yeah, crazy. so um, you've been more or less like a, how will I put it right now? Um a guy, let me just say, almost like a lion in the jungle, where it's only old age that takes them out of battle. Because from when I, you know, got got into, into the industry, yeah. there's never a time or a season where Casey doesn't have a hit. I could remember, uh, you know, from uh, I think uh, the first time I came across you guys was Senga Benge. Oh. I was I was watching I was watching AIT then. Whoa. Then it was yeah the video was so yellow. I was like, okay, this is different. And then the beat was. Re- Ridiculous, um, you know. God rest his soul. That's the late OJB. Yeah, uh, you know. There was a line that actually caught my attention. Uh, you know, I, I think they stole your car. They stole your car at the time. Yeah. Then there was um, today's cars on the Oh my god. Then the line was in the song. I was like, oh, they stole my car last week. Then you know, this I bought week another one from today's oh, car. Remember, I remember line. because the, the, the video was the video was, was different. Clean. Yeah, it was clean. Then uh, you know, Star Quest. Then to F. Then Limpopo. Then Pullover. Mm. Then you. Know, 
know this. So every time people t- tend to like write you off, you always come back. True that. Yeah. So um, for you, how uh, is there a secret behind you know your your comebacks every time? It's it's just the passion and the drive I have for what I'm doing okay. and. I also don't care about what people say about me. Yeah. I always believe in what I believe in because the truth is when you want to seek validation from people, mm-hmm. then you tend to make mistakes or you tend to be distracted. So for me, whether you tell me well done or you tell me I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just focused on what I'm doing. So I think that has helped me. And also growing up in the music uh, home, my father was a DJ. Okay. Yeah. And I was born in a record uh, family record store where my father was going for DJing and me and my brother, money we started it so the music thing is just buried in me somehow so i don't want to do any other thing aside from it so mm-hmm. another thing i have is the ability to able to you know reinvent myself at every time i've learned it from the previous um bigger stars ahead of me internationally and locally so i've learned that okay maybe every five years or a decade you need to reinvent, reinvent yourself, yourself reinvent do yourself. something else yeah. and that has really helped me a lot and also i'm not stuck in one place with my sound i'm that guy that i want to try everything you know i'm so versatile that people don't know because um my career my career started with a lot of hate in the industry kind of i don't know why but Thanks to everybody that hated me. They helped me get into this level. <laughs> I appreciate them. Yeah. And I need them to continue. Yes. I'm talking about your career, you know, starting off with a lot of hate and everything. I remember, you know, there's been controversy as regards, you know, your former group, Casey Press. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's been uh, controversy as regards, uh, you know, uh, the fallout with Skibby, which is weird because, you know, the song that we're about to premiere today has Skibby on, <laughs> uh, you know, has Skibby on, on the record. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's been talk around you and uh, your the former manager of the record label, that's So So. So, yeah. Uh, there's also being uh, you know talk around um harry song too as well sure uh, you know so um is there how is there a reason why you know all this it's almost all this drama you know around your brand there's also controversy as regards you know uh your uh love and marriage life too at the time and everything yeah. because also uh, i i remember back in the day i used to go to unilag yeah you to see a lot of friends so there was a girl that was you know i, I can't remember what faculty she was in but i think i saw the guy was a honda pilot or something <laughs> yeah it was white and then the Your place, memory is too sharp. i know <laughs> then the place was like my senge or something oh my god I remember so everyone was like oh and i kiss you babe and everything i was like oh okay yeah you know so <laughs> yeah my memory is you know you know what's weird it's weird damn. the things i remember it's damn weird. like i'm shocked like, <laughs> yeah, i weird. swear i can't believe <laughs> <laughs> it's weird the things I remember. Oh so all I, all I want to say right now is, um, is there a reason why, you know, we have all this, you know, pockets of, you know, just talks around your brand? I, I just think sometimes when you're too nice, okay. people don't tend to, you know, respect you or take you serious when you're too nice. Okay. Sometimes when you're very serious and mean with life, people get to be scared or avoid you yeah. because they don't want trouble. Mm-hmm. So I think my problem is because I'm too nice. Okay. That's uh, honestly that's my... That's honest. Yeah, oh, okay. because... Um, f- also, Skibi, for instance, I never had an issue with Skibi. Yeah. We were, were cool up to date. Okay. Um, so, so, yeah, we had issues uh, because Soso was trying to, you know, somehow, somehow, when we had our issues... He took side with Harry also. Okay. And at some point, both of them fell out. You know, okay. at the end of the day, I've settled with Soso. Me and Skibi never quarreled anyways. Yeah, and, no issues there. You know, but after the whole fight with the other guys, I was like, okay, everybody should step out from the label. Yeah. It was just me. You know, but after a couple of years, you know, I and Skibi, we, we never quarreled. Like I said, we've been mm-hmm. cool. Uh, but Harry, this is like eight years or seven years, mm-hmm. you know, when I separated. But he keeps coming back every year with one thing or the other. And I think um, uh, this year I told myself I'm not going to take that anymore because I've been keeping quiet and I never wanted to address it, you know, but most people didn't know what happened between me and him. But a lot of people, I have witnesses like Ayo and Mashaun, mm-hmm. Daddy Shoki, they try to put us together and they heard about what happened and people were angry with him. Like, why would you treat this man this way? I never came out. Nobody knew he had... Um, <clears throat> to forge signature of me and my brother with his former manager and took money from one of our clients, about three point something million, which is still in the police right now. If I want to wake up that case tomorrow, I'll wake it up. And he has a contract running five years. Okay. And you went out calling me out and all that, you know, and he said he writes all my songs. Oh yeah, that was that. You know, and I will honestly tell you that when I won StarQuest, he was in the village, still okay. fishing with his grandma. And I did four albums but, or three with uh, Kenny Smith. That's not so music. bad <laughs> No, I'm not saying anything is bad. I was telling you his profession. Yeah. yeah. He told me that was what he was doing. Okay. And 
I was a superstar already. Yeah. And, you know, coming out to discredit me at some point because I gave you umbrella to shine, you know, was nothing uh, to write home about. Me, I, I told myself I wasn't going to talk about it. But yeah. right now, I'm ready to speak about it. Okay. Anytime I have a chance to talk about it, I will I talk, talk about, about it. Because it. Yeah, um, because no, I, I look at it because he's come here a couple of times and everything. And um, it seems like, he's, let me not say it seems like, he's, you know, he's a very uh, solid chap and everything. And looking at the kind of relationship you guys had and, you know, with the success that you guys also had with Five Star, yeah. you know, and everything. I'm just hoping that you guys can just come together and just, you know. Um, you know, what's under the bridge? And you know, you said you sorted sorted out all your issues. Everybody, yeah, that you had any issue it's issue just with, yeah. So I think you guys should just come together and just find a way. To I'm ready this. anytime. Okay. I'm still the senior brother, so yeah. okay. I'm always ready to okay. settle. I like that. I like that mentality. I like that. Yeah. So you have a brand new song out right now. It's called Ibilibi, and he has, uh, you know, um, Skibi and Tenny. Skibi and Tenny has been on the song before. How star do? Yeah, sure. Fantastic sure. Amazing, banger. Amazing um, talent. Yeah. So. Um, what actually from the foundation for you guys, you know, getting getting together on this one? Yeah, so I was doing a lot with Skibi at the time. We're always in the studio. He's mm -hmm. like a brother. And even when I was recording on your piano, I was in the studio with Skibi. We wrote it together. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. like we wrote uh, it so together. So Skibi, no, no, pro, no wonder I bought that, that made back. <laughs> Everybody's eating big of that Oja piano bag right now. No, Skibi's a big boy. Skibi's <laughs> a big boy. Skibi's yeah. a very big boy. You know, like, I'm proud of him. Yeah. He's a very big boy. So, yeah. um, Tenny, Tenny also come around, uh, comes around anytime, you know, we'll vibe in. And she heard the song and she liked it. She jumped on it. Mm -hmm. And she kid it. I was like, never. I'm not going to remove this verse. And yeah. the next week, I'm like, hey, we're shooting this. Oh, there's a video did. already. Oh, yeah. The okay. video drops today. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Amazing video. Amazing video. Amazing okay, video. cool. So let's see uh, if this will take flight like uh, Oja Piano did. Because like I said, Oja Piano def I defied everything we knew about the industry. The sound was different. You know, True everything that. was different. So it was just sonically, it was in a different space. Through that. Yeah. I like I said, I respect your hustle. I respect the fact that you, I've been brother. here for more than a decade. You've been here for more than a decade and you keep reinventing yourself every Thank time. Thank you. So I love it when, you know, people are hardworking. They don't like the fact that, oh yeah, I've been a star before. I can't, I can't, uh, you know, reinvent myself. I can't yeah. latch on to new sounds. True. Uh, you know, so I, I, I love the hustle. So Thank I'm, you, I'm always here to give you support as much as you need it and you, you know i just build our industry that Thank we you. can all be proud of and everything looking forward to that one republic song though. yeah yeah that drops yeah. soon maybe okay. next month okay yeah uh, amazing I, seems right. like you're going it's 20 it's going hard in 2024 yes no sleeping bro all right so um uh, just before we play this uh, record right now so as concerns your um, personal life or anything so is there any um are you are you seeing anyone at the moment if I'm seeing anyone, yeah, I'm like, married. Oh, you're married? Of course. Oh, fantastic. I've been oh. married. Like, the oh, okay. guy you're talking about is my wife. Oh, really? Of course. We've oh. been married for 14 years. Fantastic. Oh, really? But then, I didn't want to talk about my marriage. Oh, which is, so, which is. Yeah, which because, is, yeah. I, I, you know, I grew up understanding the industry. Mm -hmm. And I I took advice from people like Shoki. Shoki yeah. told me years back, he was like, if you marry, just keep it away. Yeah. Don't mix it up with your, with yeah. the industry. So, yeah. and when, when I got married, I, I tried everything I could mm -hmm. to push it away. I only brought up my family in 2020 during lockdown oh, okay. we're bored at home and all that <laughs> had to make a family picture and I post know, it, I posted it up you know, yeah. and I also felt like my wife was grounded and strong mm -hmm. to handle whatever if I was going to come yeah really out of it because time. sometimes okay. people when they see you going up they want you down okay. so I had to keep my marriage away and yeah. I was selling just music okay. but the honest truth is that from the first day I met my wife to today we've never had any issues no fight no quarrel mm -hmm. and we're still cool you know, and I thank God for that. But I'm happily married with kids, and that's what's up. Oh, that's fantastic! Your yeah. senge, I remember that white truck. Your I memory, like you see today, you shocked me with your memory. Most of the things you said today, I'm like, I don't think any other person can give I me know, that. I know, I know, that's I know, I know, I know. Spontaneous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, like that's that. why I get paid to do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I like so that. you're about to play. Who produced this one? Um, it was um, Jason, the guy that did Oja Piano. Oh, Jason. Yeah, Jason. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so I'm yes. sure this is going to be a banger too as oh, well. Yeah. 9.36, thank you so much for coming. Just spin that it. one more time. Just, just <laughs> it's five star lifestyle. <laughs> Don't play, baby. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. And also, don't forget to check out all the other content on the other shows on the Beat 99.9 .9 FM.